Hola guys, it's T. I'm coming back with another cooking with T and Lee. As you guys can see, I'm gonna make some curry chicken with this golden curry. Now, on one of our Epic Empire videos, we did show you guys how to cook with this curry. We were trying it for the first time and we really liked it. So, when I went to North Carolina this weekend, we found it inside of the H Mart. So I picked it up again. I got this in the mild. So these are the seasonings I'm gonna be using. I'm just gonna see the the first time we used it we didn't season it but this time i'm going to be using some lemon pepper cayenne garlic powder onion powder accent and soy sauce and then we're going to be using these um they're, they're boneless skinless chicken thighs even though it says legs i don't know we got it from md oriental and that's how they labeled it but we've had these before and they're definitely chicken thighs and then we're going to be cooking this on the stove top and afterwards we're gonna finish it in, bam! The Instant Pot. <laughs> Y'all, we got an Instant Pot back, bigger and better. Unfortunately, we lost the other one in the fire, but we got a bigger version of the last one that we had before. That's just a rice cooker in the bag, rice cooker. But yeah, let's get started. What you say now, what you do now, it's T and Lee, and we back with the crew now. Crap shrimp, and you know we review now. Cooking up all this real nice food now. What you said now, what you need now, look on green screen HD now. Go ahead and subscribe, join the family. T and Lee is the place to be. Okay, y'all, so I took the uh, thigh meat out of the package, and there it is. I'm going to season it up. If you hear any noise in the background, Jolena is in the kitchen with me, and she's getting ready to cook some stuff too, so... That's the water you hear running. But I'm gonna go ahead and add some lemon to this as well. So add lemon to the list of ingredients. So you add as much as this to your liking. Sorry for the camera shaking, but I'm using one hand. Y'all know how I go. Don't add brand new now. So we're going to um, mix it up and add more seasonings where needed, where it's needed. <laughs> so in case you missed the last video, whenever we cooked this before, um, it tells for you to use chicken, beef, pork, lamb, whatever you want to use. Then it has you to put up potatoes, onions, carrots, whatever you want to use it now. I'm just going to do onions today. Then it has you to use two teaspoons of cooking oil, five cups of water one box of the uh, SMB golden curry sauce mix and then it says for half a pack you use half of the ingredients and with two third two three fourths cups of water or 600 milliliters 660 milliliters so I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions to this pot I'm gonna chop them up and add them to the pot and I'll be right back okay so I added some olive oil and the onions are next Okay, so once I've sweated out the onions some, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the meat. So thumbs up if you want more of these easy cooking videos. I like to come with videos that are kind of simpler so you guys can um, replicate this at home. 
make a quick easy meal for your family. So we're just browning this. on both sides and then we're going to move it over to the instant pot and add some uh, water to it. So I just flipped it over y'all, just showing y'all. I'm going to take these out and um, brown the rest of them that's left in here and then add them to the pot. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add the water. And two more cups to add. Okay, so this is what it looks like whenever you take it out of the package. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Now, the instructions do instruct you to add this after you boil it. And then at the end, you add it and then simmer for five minutes. But because I am putting it inside of the Instapot, I'm going to go ahead and add it now. That's what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So whenever you take the cover off, that's what you'll get. So I'm gonna add both of these to the pot. Okay. So next we're gonna go ahead and start this. All right, child, so let me see if I remember how to use this. <laughs> so I'm gonna pressure cook this. And do I press meat stew? No, I think I just press, press pressure cook, let me see. There it is. So set it and forget it, I guess. All right, child, so I will be back when everything is done. Okay, guys, on the side note, I know that I showed you guys this package, it says extra hot. When we cooked it the first time, it wasn't hot at all. I barely tasted any spice, so that's why I added the cayenne at the beginning, but you can take it or leave it, you don't have to add it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really good flavor, but it's not really hot at all, so just wanted to let you guys know that. So this is the finished product. Look at that thigh meat break apart tender. When I tell you this sauce is so delicious, especially when you add your own seasonings, that's what you get. Look at that gravy. It's so good. You guys have to try this. One thing I will say is whenever you, if you're going to use the Instapot, or the instant pot make sure whenever you put the curry in there to break it in pieces i just threw it in there but break it in pieces because i had to break it down afterwards but yum 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 put a little bit of country cornbread on the side yeah so go ahead and make this if you do make this let me know down below in the comments i'll see you on the next cooking with t and lee bye peace